Hello and welcome back to the Blade of Akai channel. You are watching My Summer Car. This is an indie game uh, about basically building up a bit of a heap of a car um, and I, I guess getting it running. Um, I've had a quick go on this already. It, the controls are a little bit uh, of a, an acquired taste and <laughs> take a little bit of getting used to. So I'm going to create a new game here and let's get in. put my name in uh, you have to put your image in a specific folder and name it mugshot.png um, in order to get your your image to show up here let's begin okay so it's just starting up and it's quite dark so we're gonna put the light on there we go now we've got some beer and we've got some sausages Got anything in the fridge? No, <clears throat> nothing in the fridge, and you can't open the cupboards either. So we all we have is beer, beer and bratwurst. Now this is uh, developed by a, uh, a, a, a Finnish team, I would say. Um, so everything is in Finnish uh, and subtitled and whatnot. You can see here. Look, that doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. This is a map of where we live. Um, it looks, isn't it? There's a, a runway there. A small town there. And obviously this big lake. I don't know where we live though. Periavi? Is that it? Is that the name? That must be the town. There's Lop, Lope, Lope, <laughs> Kessel Impera, Ricky po Poya, Ricky Poya, <laughs> I've no idea, anyway, let's turn that light on, um, occasionally, as you can see from the stats on the top left there, we will need <laughs> to pop to the toilet, uh, and Going to the toilet is actually also a way to save and quit. And we look through here, we've got a bedroom. Um, not much going on in there. And here we have another bedroom. We can't do much there. We can interact with the ball. There's a stereo down here. But it doesn't seem to work. There's a magazine here, uh, which we can say we want some things from. Uh, I don't know what this means. Tilanit, nit. Not sure. But that's created some envelope here that I don't know what we're supposed to do with. I guess find a mailbox somewhere. I I, I don't know. Um, but anyway, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. We've got a phone. Okay, fair enough. We've got a bit of a mosquito problem around here. Um, a weird cupboard that doesn't do anything. Um, okay, this is where we wash stuff. And here's the shower which we can drink from <laughs> and we've also got a a sauna uh, but I don't think that really does a great deal and uh, this is the back door I believe there we go there's the back door now if we pop through this way there's oh there's a TV in here as well which I'll show you later but if we pop out this way, here is our jalopy. <laughs> We've got to fix this thing up. It doesn't really look like a great deal right now. Let's open, open the door. O open you go. Let's turn the light on. I'm gonna need that. It's over here. Anything in there? No. Right. 
Now, um, we have to build this thing up. We've got to build literally everything. Um, engine, underpinnings, wheels, everything. Uh, as you can see, some of the parts aren't in the best of uh, best of order. All right, let's move the seat over here a minute. And you there. Okay. So we need to address that really, because that's kind of the, one of the first things we need to do before starting to assemble everything. Uh, let's move that there for a minute. And this is, I think, the colour of our vehicle. So we can pick up the spray can. We have to press F to get it into use mode. And we can spray like so. Actually, I think I picked the wrong colour there, but I'm okay with this. So we can spray all the panels up into championship blue. If you follow your skylines, you know what that means. <laughs> There we go. And let's spray the car now. I think you have to do this in several places, I'm not sure. There we go. Is that the whole car done now? Uh, yes. Yes it is. Right, okay, so let's get that out of use mode and place it back down here on the workbench. Nice and neat. We've got a torch there. We might need that later because it gets dark. Right. Let's move these out of the way because they're just going to annoy me. Taking up all the room on the bench. Right. That's got those moved out of the way. And um, move these lights out of the way as well. Like so. Ta da. There we go. Move the air filter. Let's put that there. Now this is a toolbox. Now <laughs> in my previous go at this, um, I struggled with this because I've been trying to build the engine and it's been failing miserably. And the reason why is because I needed tools, but I couldn't open this thing. And the trick really is to get it so that that ha hand icon appears and then press F. And you have access to all of the tools. I had to go online to figure that out, unfortunately. Here's the block, one of the first parts we need to get to grips with. Now once you pick something up with the left mouse button, you can then twist it with the mouse wheel um, to get it into the position that you want. So we're going to drop that down there. The next thing we need is the crankshaft, which is just here. So we're going to, so yeah, you get it into the right position and that will click into place with the uh, the left mouse button. Now the next thing we're going to need to do is put the main bearings on. Otherwise this thing's just going to fly off again. So we have to get these in the right position. There's three of them. There we go. They each have a specific designation. So that one there says main bearing two. That's actually the middle one. There we go. Now. Where I was going wrong is I was thinking, well, there you go, I've put those on, that's all done then. Um, no. We need a tool. So, if I press 2, I can pick up a spanner. And I've picked up the wrong spanner. So, if I press on the smaller one, I've still got the wrong spanner. Smaller one again. There we go. Now, <laughs> this took me a little while to figure out as well. You have to use the mouse wheel to do the screwing. So if I pull back on the mouse wheel, that does nothing. So if I've got to push it forward, it starts to go down. I wish I'd known this. I wish there was some little bit of a tutorial hint to to, the, to that bit. Because uh, I've wasted hours trying to put the engine together. And then trying to put the pistons in. And then the whole thing falling to bits because something wasn't right. There we go. Right, we now need uh, to take it out of tool mode by pressing 1. 2 gets it into tool, tool mode. So now the crankshaft is in and locked into position. We now need to put... Uh, I believe now we need to put the pistons in. So let's try that. 
Now I've I've kind of semi-assembled this whole thing, um, but the pistons were where things were falling. There you go. They're going in now. So I couldn't get past this bit, despite having all the other ancillaries on the engine. Couldn't get past it. Now we can. Um, if I could get this into the engine. There we go. It takes a little bit of finesse. And also the, the, the reach of the character is a little bit limited. So you'll find yourself having to duck and stand up a lot. Now, we then have to screw those into position. So I, I'm not sure, but I think I'm going to need a smaller spanner for these. Yeah, there we go. So, away from us, that does the screwing. There, like that. Okay, right, let's get it out of tool mode again. Right, so we now have that in position. I wonder if, actually, we can just put this on now. Because this is into unknown territory for me now. Yeah, that goes on nicely. We've got to screw this thing in now. There we go. Look, there's a sump plug there. Now, I wonder if I can actually interact with that. Looks like quite a beefy... Well, there you go. Uh, I guess if we need to do an oil change, I'll need to uh, I'll need to adjust that one. Right. Oh, damn phone ringing again. Let me go and get the phone. There's no run button as far as I can make out. A flatbed load of firewood. You can deliver them any time. Okay, so, look. There's an arrow there. Terve. Um... But the problem is, is I don't know where I am on this map. <laughs> so, I have no clue how, how I'm going to get there. I'll, maybe I'm... I have driven around before um, in the previous go. I think maybe I'm here. And then I'd have to go down to here, turn left, get into that village, then go out again. But the thing is, there's no there's no map, and when you're out and about, there's no map. <clears throat> Let's put that down. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, and also um, I don't know how to get woods, fire woods on the flatbed. Um, I'm I'm guessing there's a mechanic to this, in which case I need to earn money um, in order to kind of continue whatever I'm doing. Right. Um, next thing. Um, it's going to be, I guess, the head gasket. So let's put that on there. Nice. Okay. Um, and then the head. Now, I'm going to put that on the table and move the block over there a little bit because we can like build some of this up ahead of time. So we put that on there. Now, I'm going to need... I don't know what what spanners what there we go let's screw this down so yeah I was putting all this together and I wasn't doing any of the screws because I had no idea I had to do that <laughs> so <laughs> I was making an engine that would basically pull itself to, to bits as soon as it was started there we go there we go right um, now Spark plugs, we need to... Oh, we can put them in after, I think. Can I put this down now? That looks good. That looks good. Now we've got more screws to do. More bolts. Uh, tool mode. We'll get back to the other spanner in a minute. No. Yeah, all sorts of different sizes, these things. Alright, one more to do after this. There we go. Now, 
what do we do now? So that looks like a, a pump receptacle. Oh crap, we're throwing the engine around. Do I need to do anything more to this head? I think it's it's a push rod one, so it's done internally. I don't think I need to worry about that bit. Yeah. Because there's no gear on the side here. No place for a gear at least. Can I put this on here yet? I don't know how to get the engine on this hoist. I've tried before. I just can't seem to get it to take. I imagine the thing is here for a purpose, right? But I just can't can't get it to play ball. No, won't let me do it. All right. Let's put the block down here a second. There we go. Now, I think do I just shove the rocker cover on here now? That seems okay. Uh, right, let's try the tool. Is that... Yeah, that's the right size. There we go. Right. Okay. Now, I guess the next thing is going to be shoving the spark plugs in. So let's try and do that. There we go. Uh, I'm just going to put them all in. I, they are probably all going to need tightening. Go. Hasn't given me a spark plug wrench though. So whether I, I'm, I'm assuming I just use a standard spanner. That's going to be a bigger one, I think. Let's try that. No. No. Um. I don't know. Then do I? Do I need to worry about this? I don't think it's going to be this. Does it make any sense at all? Why can't I tighten those up? Alright, well, um, I'll leave that for now. Um, there's this part here. I wonder if I can actually... Oh, okay. I don't need to tighten them up then. Alright, so we've got the electrics on there. We now need to put some of the other ancillaries on. Camshaft's got to go in there, right? Somewhere. There we go. Now, do I need to tighten that up? Oh, look at that. I had the right spanner. There we go. There's the camshaft in there. Now, do I need to do that on both sides? No, just the one. Right, let's put that back down again. Now what? Um, where, when when does this go down on, on here? I don't think that goes on there, does it? Does it go on that side? Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, what's this? Drive gear. Don't need that right now. Crankshaft pulley. That's got to go on there, surely. There we go. Right, uh, we're going to need a bigger spanner, I think. Yeah. Oh. It'd be nice if it just told you what size it was as you hovered over. Anyway, we need the flywheel. Now, where's that going to go? To go on the other side. Let's put that. Oh, it's going to stay there like that. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to stay up. No? Yes? Right. Oh, we've got some bolts on there to do up. Right. Okay. 
Um, now what? Now what? Stay up. I don't know what's supposed to go on there. And in fact, I don't even know what this thing is here. Water pump. Where does that go? Does that go there? No, it doesn't go there. Where does the water pump... I thought the water pump went there. Hang on a minute. Let's drop this closer to me. There we go. Oh, something... Did it pop up with a tick then? Doesn't go there. It's got to go around here somewhere, surely. Okay, let's leave that for a minute. Uh, distributor. Right. Is that going in there? No. I can't remember what goes in there. Ah. Yeah, okay. So that's what goes in there. Now that's all hooked up. That's cool. Does that need... Yes, it does. Look, spanners. Right. What's this? Timing cover. Have I put the... Have I put something on at the wrong point? I think I have, you know. I think I need to undo this. Which... I can't remember which spanner that was now. Right, let's undo that. Right click to get that off. And then this to go on there maybe. Is that is that the right thing? It doesn't go on this side. Pretty sure it goes on this side. Yeah, it goes on there, but I guess when it's when it's on. Right. Okay. We need a timing chain. Where's that going to go? Let's put that there. We need these other cogs. Let's shove them down there. This is the flywheel assembly. What's that? Oil filter. Yeah, we're going to need that. Maybe that's what goes on there. There we go. I don't think I need to do anything with that. Right, let's get this on. That goes on. Hey, what are you doing? That goes on there. That's fairly simple. Right. What size spanner do I need for that? Right, there we go. Now, does this go on now? Yes. Yes, it does. Then, does this go on? I mean, it should go on there. But why won't it? The pulley's got to go on after, right? That's got to poke out, surely. Why can't I put this on? It won't accept that. Uh, it's not the alternator, surely. Oh, right. Yeah, the alternator did go. need to go on. Right, do... Come on. Yeah, the control system is not great. Okay, I need to I need to span that in. Oh, that's a bolt. Okay. And there's a those are screws. I need the screwdriver. Okay. Let's do that. Do I need to do any more? No. Doesn't look like it. Alright, can I do anything with this now? Why won't that go on? You're giving me a tick and you're not letting me do anything with it. Now, I, what I'm concerned is I've got something on here and it's in the wrong order. 
and that's what's stopping me. Uh, I tried putting the flywheel back on, but I just... The crankshaft pulley, sorry. I just don't think that's the right thing to do. Because that's got to go on there. Uh, have I missed something fundamental here? Brake master cylinder, that's a stereo, that's brake linings. Starter? That surely goes on there. No, it goes down there. Right. Okay. Do I have the right spanner for that? Yes. Right, hang on a minute. Is there another bolt for that? Yes, there is. Look at that. Hiding away around the back. Hmm. Well, that's where the exhaust bit goes. Um... Put that on there for now until I figure out this other bit. Like that and then the carb with its inlet manifold should sit over the top of that and hopefully we've got the right spanner, which we have. Let's pick this engine up and move it round that way a little bit so I can bolt the other stuff in like that. And like that. Do I have another bolt to do? Look at that, hidden away. There we go. Right. Um yeah. It's just this this water pump business that I'm that I'm struggling with. That goes on there like that. Do we need to bolt this into position? Yeah, we do. We do. don't need to worry about that. Right, I'm going to have to consult Interweb and figure out stuff. But in the meantime, I need to address my thirst and hunger and fatigue. Right, let's go in here and we need to... Need to drink one of them. Nice. And then, well, we've addressed hunger in one go, but now we have no sausages. And can I get me some of this water? There we go. So thirst is done, but now we need to go for a pee. Like so. And here's our postal moment. get rid of all of this and then I think we need to have a sleep because our fatigue is getting high and we're done okay <laughs> right we need to go I think the bed in here how do I sleep ah sleep there we go oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah 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 what the phone rings while I'm sleeping Oh god, middle of the night. I tried to call everybody. Please can you pick me up from the pub and drive me home? Sounds a bit drunk. Is, th is this where the pub is? I thought that's where the... That's where the dart was before. I don't know if this is working. I don't know where the pub is. Anyway, um, so... Uh, let's put that phone back. <laughs> anyway, what we've done so far is we've sprayed the car up and with regard to the engine we're we're kind of getting there kind of stuck with the fuel pump not the fuel pump the water pump assembly and the timing cover and the crankshaft pulley 
Um, for some reason, it's not going on, and I need to go and find out why that is. I've probably done something in the wrong order, so I'm going to look at that offline. I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you enjoy this, this kind of interesting indie game. Uh, finish, finish made. And, uh, yeah, um, comment down below. Let me know what you think, and if you know what I need to do with the timing timing cover and water pump assembly let me know in the comments down below right that's it for this episode if you liked it don't forget to hit like share and subscribe and i shall see you all in the next episode thanks for watching and bye bye for now